Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Off the Shelf. My name's Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Inside Out Director's Cut. Now, I am a diehard Ninja Turtles fan. I have been since I was a kid, going back to the 80s cartoon. The The first Ninja Turtles movie was actually the first movie I ever saw in the theater. I grew up reading the comics. As I got older, I discovered the original by Eastman and Laird. You know, since then, I've pretty much scooped up the entire run of that first series. I've read the current series. This one, I didn't read when it came out. It was, you know, it was in the TMNT universe, one through five. They collected it here with the thumbnails from Eastman, the black and whites with uh, Bill Sienkiewicz, who inked over Eastman. This book is fucking dope, dude. I mean. You literally have three different versions. You have the thumbnails, then you got the black and whites before it's colored, and then you have it colored. Wanted to get this on video. All of you shellheads out there, any fans of the Ninja Turtles or process books will absolutely love this. So let's get into this. So first off, this is a story about Leonardo. This takes place after he had been brainwashed kind of by his shredder in the foot. And it's basically just Leonardo going all out fighting all all manner of villain and stuff and you know just to kind of I'm, I'm spoiling a little bit but this is all taking place in his head and it's he's using like this meditation technique that he used from the foot in shredder and you know right off the bat we get a little letter from kevin eastman which was in 2017 he wrote this and he talks about how he always wanted to work with bill Sienkiewicz, and they finally made it happen these thumbnails are amazing, dude. It's so cool to see the way he lays this out. And then you have the notes all over the side of it. Just flip through a few of these for you guys to check out. This this is a fucking dope page. And just to think like Kevin Eastman and Bill Sienkiewicz teaming up to do a Turtles book. It's something I never thought I would see. And <laughs> it's the finished product even just the thumbnails are cool to read but the finished product is amazing and he'll have the dialogue off on the side so you can pretty much read through the thumbnails and still get the whole story and it's interesting to see when when Sienkiewicz does add his inks he adds his own little flair to Eastman's layouts which are I mean pretty much finished art if you look at it Dope shot right there, Leonardo in the sewer. And you know, kind of ever since IDW took over the TMNT license, I think they've done a phenomenal job. They put out awesome products, they reprint the the original stuff, they do the great deluxe hardcovers of the current series. This one, this pr particular book, like putting out these five backup stories into a hardcover and, and doing thumbnails and doing all the layouts, the pages before they're colored. I mean, it's just awesome for Turtle fans to be able to get these cool little items and to also be able to read the original stories that weren't in print for quite some time and you could only get them back issues like I had to do myself. And then here we go. This starts the untouched art untouched by color there's no colors on these on these falling pages and you'll notice if you look at this so you have this which is the layout and then you have Sienkiewicz over so while you can still see Kevin Eastman in here the touches that Sienkiewicz does especially because you'll notice he uses like the mixed media and stuff with like it looks like splatter right here I don't know if you guys can see that just phenomenal dude and both of them are amazing at the at pacing and panel layout. And, you know, I think while we do see Sienkiewicz maybe change a little bit of angles, like, for the most part, it stays exactly true to what East, Eastman laid out. I don't think he um, diverts too much from Eastman's original vision. And the best part about this is there's no le there's no lettering, no dialogue, nothing. It's just pure black and white art. 
And the cool thing is, is, you know, there was um, a Leonardo miniseries, Blind Sight, I believe, that was done by Mirage when they still, you know, the original publisher of the Ninja Turtles comics still had a license. And it was completely um, wordless comic. And this kind of reminds me of that. And I thought, I, I thought the same thing when I was looking through this. And I like that they give you the step-by-step -step leading into the finished product. But this easily could have been wordless and you can still get the gist of what's going on look at that that's like reminiscent right here this little thing is reminiscent of a you know like warlock from Sienkiewicz's new mutants i just love the grittiness that he adds to this right here see that oh, let me flip back again You know, look at look at the difference here between what what Eastman did, like just the the raw emotion that he conveys a little bit more than what Eastman had laid out. Another great shot, dude. Fuck. I mean, there's really not much I can say. I really just more wanted to get this to kind of share the art with any of you guys watching, any of you guys that are into the turtles. This book is available to order also. And from your local comic shop, I highly recommend doing it. Get it from your shop. Don't get it from, you know, Amazon. This, this, these were some of my favorite layouts too. The different types of panel structure, just the kineticness of it. And, and you, and then you realize that at the end of this, Right here, it was all in his head. He was, you know, he was meditating and he was going to that place to kind of get answers. And then now we have the color version, which I also kind of enjoyed. I noticed that the coloring on this, I feel like it was a little darker than we were seeing in the regular TMNT series, the ongoing. Still would have liked it to be a little, maybe a little bit darker for this story because this is a really dark story. But, I mean, you can't deny, dude, look at this. And while I do love it in color, I kind of almost prefer it in black and white because the original Turtle comics, for any of you that don't know, were originally in black and white. I've always been partial to black and white comics, especially when it comes to Turtles. But this is just a beautiful book, man. And he just goes through the gauntlet of, you know, ninjas, Koya, Rat King. I mean, boom, 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 boom. And you just, you're like, what, where the fuck is he going? And some of it doesn't, like, it just seems like it's too fantastical, you know? And he continues. He's going through level after level. And this is just him in his mind, dude. And I think it's a definitely a very unique story. we got Metalhead here. We even got Casey Jones. This is like, you see, you'll notice like this is, I think this is when I started to really like realize, okay, something weird's going on because of like the way that the buildings almost look like they're coming in on him, right? And then Casey Jones attacks him, which is very out of character. And this is, you know, right here, tells him to stand and lead. And this is where Leo says, you know what? I'm done lying down. And he, and he basically tells his old self, which was the brainwashed Leo from the, from when he was with Shredder. And he, and he kills that part of himself while meditating. And this is where he decides he's going to go after his enemies. I can't remember exactly what was going on during the, during this particular arc. This is just a powerful image right here. Now I stand, now I lead. Overall, awesome fucking book. And I discovered it because of my boy Eli, Eli Schwab from, you know, that I, I became friends with at the shop that I, I work at. He shared it on Facebook and I was like, I had never heard of it. And I immediately ordered it right after and I was not disappointed at all. And then you got this, dude. This is pretty dope. And then we have more of just rough notes, rough, rough layouts while the book was being planned. 
yeah that is inside out tmnt director's cut highly recommend this book i'm going to definitely do be doing some more turtle coverage as we go on but i i figured this would be a good book to share since maybe not many people are aware of it it's only 15 bucks go out buy it and stay tuned for some more turtle coverage at the comic lounge and if you're not already make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Comic Lounge. Throw some comments, suggestions down below, or you can email us at the Comic Lounge Pod at gmail.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time we put up a new video. And on that note, we're out.